Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna show cutting the shelf off of a common rail head. I uh, got one on the mill right now. I started on it um, and I forgot to video the very first part of it, but you can, uh, so usually your intake is gonna be on here, right? And you can see I actually had to cut some, some spots out of it here. Um, the reason that I did that was this head had been in a fire and the intake cracked and you can, it's, I wanted to make sure that the cracks didn't go any farther, so I literally just took the the tool, um, just an end mill, four fluid end mill, and ran the end mill in the spots where the, the cracks were still left. So anyways, that's the reason it's like that, but I'm going to uh, get this thing, so we're milling this thing at five thou, or sorry, uh, five degrees, and it's for a Banks intake. Um, I'll show um, doing that. I'm going to show it on this video. I'm just going to show bringing this this to the right height. And then uh, the next video I'll show drilling and tapping just to keep the videos not too long. Got the intake all shaved off there. Just got to test fit the intake on there and just see what it looks like. Like I said, this head had some damage from being burnt. So uh, sometimes you have to kind of work along with what you got. Some of the uh, Dimensions were kind of weird and there was some funny looking marks in it and the intake cracked off and stuff so you want to uh, You just want to make sure that you get everything kind of kosher. I took a About a five thou cut off of the top of this when I had it perfectly flat that was earlier I, I didn't film that part of the part of it just when I'm rough cutting it off I took about a five thou cut off there and I'm wishing I didn't now, but it's almost the same angle but the intake is going to work no problem on this so I can inset it up there quite a ways like I want to so it'll be good so yeah next uh, on the next video um, actually I guess I should maybe show I'll give a quick show on how I set these things up. So, you guys are gonna be able to see too well here. So what I do is I set this stuff up on my cheese board, um, which is this thing, which is usually in the surfacer. Um, and what I do is you take your, I, what I do, I get it flat here to start with on 90 degree angle before you do before you put your cheese board in, and then what I do is take your dial indicator, stick your dial indicator on here, which I can't because the head is in the way. But put your dial indicator on there, and then you run the the mill bed back and forth, and dial it in from end to end. And you can adjust, that's one, that's the reason I use the cheese board is that this is actually an adjustment to take the head and tip it up and down. So it pivots off of this side, just to get a better view. And then this side tips up and down. That's the reason I like using the cheese board. And then there's a five degree angle that's met on this. So I just take an angle, find, digital angle finder. One of the ones that I have, stick it to your, stick it to the mill, stick it to the head. And then you bring your five degrees off that you need off the intake so it's not really too too difficult it's a pretty simple process it really comes down to it. it's a bit time consuming but it's not too bad and then uh i will uh i'll make up a video i don't know if it'll be tomorrow or when i when i get to it anyways here pretty quick um 
and I'll show you guys the process and maybe I'll video the whole thing instead of time lapsing some of it. Um, meh, I'll probably time lapse a little bit of it, but um, how I mark and let me put your intake on there. Your intake brings everything back straight again. And the reason that you put that that five degree angle on there so that you don't lose so you don't lose where your valve cover sits right here otherwise your valve cover gasket gets cut off um don't ask me how i know that the very first one i ever did that it works like i said i'll show the drilling and tapping in the next video and uh yeah we'll go from there all right uh well thanks for watching guys and uh we'll catch you on the next one